morning everybody, it's Jonathan with CNJ Productions and today I want to tell you guys some things that I'm going to be doing to the Vector 500 and with no further ado, here we go. Here we are. A couple days ago on Thursday I was able to get some extra free time so I started taking this thing apart to get to the clutch. As you can see, I've already gotten all the way to the clutch housing, pulled both the primary and secondary clutches off. And what I'm going to do right now is show you guys what I was able to do up to this point. So how it started, pulled off the side cover that was right here, which is right here. As I pulled off the side cover, I was able to take these two nuts off here that held down the straps to the gas tank, which are both right here pull those two off and then this wheel well cover right here goes up like that so I loosened up both the nuts that hold this together slid this down had to take the back wheel off as you can see it's right there to slide the gas tank out of that area right there so once I was able to slide the gas tank out which I have it over in my shed over there I was able to take off the firewall panel that sits right here which I have right here it's got the heat shield on it got that together set that right there and then from there I was able to start taking the nuts off for the clutch cover and there was about say you believe 14 of those on there uh, didn't take too long once I found my extensions got that together and then I was pretty much cooking with with oil now uh, didn't take a whole lot of time. Took maybe about an hour and a half, two hours just to get to what I did there. Um, unhooking the gas tank wasn't hard. Wasn't hard at all. Um, probably should have sprayed it out. As you can see, I have a lot of some sand and clay in there. I scraped that out a bit so it'll be easy to go back in next time. I'm going to rinse this out before I put it in there so it'll slide in better. <laughs> and then, um, I don't think I showed you guys this, but I put a fuel filter in the fuel line from the fuel tank there just to make sure I have fresh clean gas going into this machine don't want any more copy in or rebuilds anytime soon here's the connector that goes into the fuel tank that connects to the um, fuel pump <coughs> I didn't have to go over all that like last time of going in and taking loose the exhaust going this route you're pretty much able to get a clean shot of all of those bolts that hold the clutch cover on and you get a clean shot at the two nuts that hold on the primary and secondary clutch. And from there I was able to zip this thing out. Um, next I'll show you guys the parts. Alright, here's the belt that came off of it. Is the old belt. Does not look too bad at all. Um, wasn't sure about these kind of like white scuff marks all the way around there. It's actually on both sides. Seems to be okay. I didn't see any flat spots. But here's the new one. As you can tell, it's still. I'm assuming this is like a newness that's on the belt. Seems to be about the same size. Yeah. Still seems to be about, about the same size, so they should have sent me the right parts. Looks like it. Here's a new spring I'm going to be putting in this baby. There's the old spring, here's the the secondary clutch. Um, seems to be in good condition. I did not see any hitting or marks on the inside of the clutch that meant that there was any any issues going on. I didn't see any any issues at all. Um, what I also wanted to do is in the um, the clutch carrier housing. I wanted to go in and change this bearing. One time I ran into some water in a creek. It got a little bit higher than what I should have. I'm assuming some water got in the clutch. And I believe this bearing is bad. It doesn't look too bad in the inside. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but it does not seem too bad. But there is some sort of squeaking noise coming out of the clutch housing area. So I'm assuming that I need to replace this. This is um, the original bearing that's been on the machine. So I'm going to be replacing that. 
Um, here is the primary clutch sheath. Um, seems to be okay. Looks just like you what you'd find on a Yamaha Rhino. I believe the specs of, are similar. Um, this clutch, I actually am going to be planning to send off to get it milled to see if I can get some sort of extra top end grip out of this machine. So, more than likely this week I'm going to be sending this baby off. Um, I got to do some cleaning of it, um, but I grieved it the last time. Um, it looks like it must have gotten maybe a little bit too much grease in there. And some of it actually slung out a little bit. But it seems, I mean, just that it seems like the sliders are okay. I don't see any excess movement at all. Um, it still slides just fine. So I'm going to be taking that out and servicing it. Cleaning this up before I send it off. Um, you can see there's the front of this baby. See, I don't see anything that looks like an issue here, but I do see some what looks to be pitting. So I may end up having to replace this just to be on the safe side. See these, see these little black marks there, like little holes, divots. So I'm going to do some more research to make sure before I send this off that I'm not wasting my time. I may end up having to get a new primary clutch before I send this off, which is probably a good thing. Because I've been worried about this thing, you know, for the longest since, I'm, since I've been having it. So, overall, um, this is where we are right now. I just wanted to show you guys what I've done up to this point, the last video in my, my podcast. I told you guys I want this to be my next video, and it is. So, up to this point, I have removed the primary clutch, secondary clutch, belt. I'm going to be cleaning out this housing in here to make sure um, we don't get any extra dirt in here. Um, we're going to blow it out, clean it up, and get it ready to be put back together once I can get this get this back going I'm going to be more than likely this week dropping this baby off to Aiken Motorcycles over in Aiken, South Carolina to get the spring off replaced with this spring and from there I'm going to make a decision on what I want to do with my primary clutch assembly um, Go ahead and get it sent off and sent back to me. So at this point, um, I'll cut this video short and get to figuring out what I need to do for my machine. So at this point, I want to thank you guys for, for watching. Please like and subscribe. Um, hopefully in the next coming weeks, we'll be putting this machine back together and getting this machine back out on the trails. Um, so other than that, um, I want to thank you guys for watching again. Please like and subscribe. Give me some feedback. Um, let me know what you guys think. Um, some ideas you guys may have done to your machine. So, um, happy Sunday. We'll be seeing you guys very soon. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. Jonathan again. Show you something that kicked my butt this week. Getting this bearing out was really hard and I think I, I overdid it and I did it wrong from the start but I finally got it out put the new one in replaced it got the new seal in there the new bearing and a new pressure plate but I ended up having the I'm not sure you can see it I ended up having a cut right there just to get the old bearing out I ended up what my mistake was was I ended up pulling the inside of the bearing out along with the roller and that was a mistake because the bearing filler that I did get required the inner bearing to be still intact. And that pretty much was a disaster. So instead of taking it back, I just ended up cutting it down the side right here. I'm going to end up probably putting some JB Weld in there. Just trying to fill that up a bit. Um, show my truck. There's Nathan's truck. He's been wanting to show you guys. Put something in there to... Um, 
seal that up to make sure no extra grime gets in there. But I could have went about that a lot differently if I had done a little bit more research. To just go to the store and got a, um, a bearing puller. But it's all done now. I've already set the clutch off. Prim excuse me, the primary clutch off to get machined by JBS Performance. Hopefully they are able to do that. We can come back and put everything back together. And um, we'll see you from there. We'll see you guys at the next bit. Thank you. Hit the subscribe button. Raise that base. Still watching. Bye. 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 Your hands dirty.